Welcome back to episode three of this Star Shelter playthrough. At the end of the last episode, we had just gotten our solar panel built. And in this episode, I'm looking to expand the base a bit to create some much needed room. All right, so we finally made a little bit of progress. We've got our um, defense turret up, which protects mostly just this room from one angle, but uh, it will help keep food plants alive. Um, I now also have a solar panel to help power that so that while the turret is on, I'm still generating power for the ship so I can store it. Um, I went ahead and threw in a second oxygen plant in here and an additional one in this room. Um, so for now, since these rooms are open to each other, uh, that gives me a total of 0.75 oxygen per second plus whatever the ship does automatically, which I think is another 0.25. No, so right now I'm getting 1.16 oxygen a second throughout the ship, which is all, or throughout the station, which is all one big room, really, anyway. However, I do plan on putting a hollow gate here. Um, just, it's smart so that if this gets punctured, uh, I don't lose all my oxygen over here, which could cause me to lose all my plants, um, particularly my food plants. Like I said, I'm gonna have that wall full of those. Um, and if, vice versa, if this gets, this side gets punctured, I'm not losing oxygen here. So, um, but for now, they're all working together. Um, I probably won't put any more purely oxygen plants over here, because if I recall, a lot of these plants produce oxygen as well, which is why I think we're at uh, 1.16, because I think the ship automatically generates oxygen at 0.25 per second, and each of these plants does it at uh, 0.25 per second. So I think each of those food plants is giving us like 0.08 per second. Um, so I think by the time I have this wall full. I think I'll probably be generating um, something probably around like 0.5 or 0.6 oxygen per second just from those plus another 0.5 per second from those. So I think that should be good for this room. If it does get punctured and I um, repair it really quickly, it'll refill nice and fast. I am also going to put oops, uh, more oxygen plants in here as well just so that, uh, again, once it's sealed off, this gets punctured, it'll restart really quickly, uh, or refill really quickly. I'm not super worried about this room, though. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to really do anything with it. So if this section here stays, you know, vented, it, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, I could make it a little bit, or add in some redundancy by throwing in, like, maybe I throw another oxygen plant over there, and then these two corners, I throw food plants, so that if that room does get punctured and all my plants do die. I've got two other plants uh, producing food, which I might do. However, I'm uh, probably going to do that more with my next project. So um, I want to go exploring some of those stations and ships we saw out there. But there are a couple of dangers out there. One is I know they have like radiation zones, and I don't want to stay radioactive because that'll kill me. So I want a rad shower. Um, I do need one oil from that or for that, but other than that, I have everything. Unfortunately, I will end up losing or using a plasma as well. Um, I'm also going to put in a med bay. That's just a way to basically take the ship's power and heal me. And it, it just heals me like that. It's real nice. Um, the other thing uh, was a bed. So that just lets me sleep and reset all the debris outside so as i if you probably noticed me going in and out of the ship um or out of the station some of the debris resets periodically just on like a set time loop um but not all of it and the big like stations and ships i think they will reset by themselves but they take a long time sleeping resets all of it all the debris whether i've been to it or not um all the ships and stations so that's can be useful um but for uh, exploring those, I want to have the protection of the rad shower and the med bay. So the neighbors are doing something. Um, so I think all three of those would go good in a uh, like a bedroom type uh, of room. So I, I don't want to take up any space in here doing all that. I might even put something like a research table, in, research table in there, but I don't know yet. I don't remember what that's for. So the question is, where do I want to do this? I think I'm going to take out this window and put my bedroom out there. Um, I was going to do it out this way, but let's not be honest. It's kind of cool to look out and see that star. So I'm going to do it out this way. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started on that. 
After quite a bit of scavenging, I returned to the station to start building some of the pieces that I needed. Okay, while uh, attempting to get sheet metal for the expansion to the, the space station here, I actually found a bunch of solar panels. So I went ahead and crafted one. So, oh, um, I guess that works. I didn't mean to actually place that. I meant to turn it, but. Not the prettiest, but it functions, so. Okay, uh, we got two solar panels now. Um, anyway, still need to collect more sheet metal. I have something along the lines of like, uh, I haven't decided if I'm gonna go for a large room or a medium room. For a medium room, I t need 10 sheet metal, and for a large room, I need 15. Collected six, I think, sheet metal. I already had one, so I put me at seven. Um, just to get it done, I kind of want to do a medium room because I was this only five sheet metal less, but uh, I'm not sure that that would give me enough room. But so far, the only spot I've found to get sheet metal is if you come to these. Like I, I've been on these fighters like these ships these little bit bigger ships here um one of the sections here is two sheet metal it's the only spot i've been able to find it but it's two of them so i guess there's that i've been mostly ignoring everything else uh, because my inventory has been getting full um, but i've noticed this game has a thing where it seems like if you're harvesting from one type of debris like the fighter the satellite uh, the drone which is like a smaller fighter thing um it tends to spawn more of those it, it's what it seems like which is kind of nice because i would suck trying to get 15 sheet metal just waiting for these to spawn on purely random chance i don't know whether or not that's close. Um, I don't know whether or not there are like other areas to get sheet metal. I haven't seen any in these debris. Uh, maybe in like the big ships that you, like that, that one and that one that you can explore. Warning. Comet shower is incoming. Let's see it. Um, I don't know if there's more in there. I'm hoping so, but 
uh, before I started this series, I had about 14 hours in this game. So I wasn't like completely new to it, but it had been a while since I played it. And even then, I never really explored those ships too much. So we'll have to do that. But anyway, I am going to keep searching for the sheet metal. And I will see you guys again probably when I have it all. Unless something else interesting happens in between. And therefore, you get to hear me sooner. Lucky you. Spaceship has been damaged. Oxygen is leaking. Okay, that's not too bad of a spot. See, something interesting happened. Um, and that's actually in the airlocks. It's not a big deal. Oxygen level at 50%. Let me make another solar panel. I need the oil for other stuff, though. We got enough. Uh, I thought I needed oil for this too. Warning, class one comet is incoming. Later, while out scavenging, I came across a drone that was still alive. Warning, reading drone signature. I hit tracking. Shooting off to the right. Once I realized it was shooting off to the right, that's so much better. My tracking my controller went out at the worst time there. I was like, I'm just gonna fly by and get a real quick shot off on it. And my controller is like, uh, the fuck you are. All right, we finally have all of the pieces we need for our little project. We got our uh, corridors that we're going to need to get out there. We got the room itself. I did end up going with the big room because I was like, yeah, it's only a few more metal sheets and I get so much more space. So let's just go ahead and do it now. The really big expensive part wasn't so much the room. It was trying to get enough walls to cover that room. I click on one of those. Uh, yeah, so I decided to go for reinforced walls. Just Warning, class one comet is incoming things like that um however both because it would look cool i want to be able to see outside and to make it a little cheaper i decided to make three of those walls glass walls so i'll be able to like look out and see what's going on around me um like i said that they also cost like five glass which i can get plenty of a lot easier spaceship has been damaged oxygen so is leaking i don't have to worry so much about um the, the cost, but and I also get to see outside, but obviously it's vulnerable to things like that. So the big thing here is I got to put a gate and I already made the gate, but uh, I was really wanting to do a hollow gate, but 
It's four plasma. I've only got two in the first hollow gate I get. It's probably going to go right there. I might change this out to a hollow gate later. I don't know. But for right now, I definitely need a gate so that I'm not... While I'm building this, I don't vent everything here. And it's just good to section the stuff off so I don't have a puncture here. Um, deoxygenate my entire base. So... So the gate, cool. It's going to let me put the gate in first. I mean, I was a little worried about that. So we got gate there. And now we can move this. I don't remember if it's going to put the I corridor first or not. At the risk of just floating away. <laughs> no, I think I was going to put that corridor. Okay. So, I admit, I did forget about covering these up, but uh, that, I can do it in capsule for these for right now, and then probably change one of these to a, a gate later. And the room's going to go at the end of this one. And this is part of the reason I didn't want to do too many turrets or anything beforehand. Another drone. I was right about that. I don't know if I'll end up leaving that part in the video. But uh, I had a bunch of meteors and meteor showers coming. And I was like, I have a feeling I'm going to start getting a lot more drones now, too. And I did. This, this is like the third drone in like 15 minutes. Maybe 20. I don't know. All right, cool. So I just need one more plasma. I can get a hollow gate. Anyway, um, so yeah, as you can see, it's really hard to defend it with turrets until after I build it because I remember my first playthrough I did put some turrets and I ended up finding like I would have put one like right here. Turn my flashlight for you guys. Yeah, I, would have, I was going to put one like right here, but then if I ever build out here, that makes this turret completely useless. So I decided to just invest my resources into getting the base extended first and uh, then start building up defenses around that afterwards. Anyway, let's go ahead and get the room and the rest of these pieces in place. All right, guys, so just a quick recap of everything we've done this episode, because we have done a lot. We finally got a hollow gate in place. And uh, we also got, like, four solar panels now, I think. Um, I gotta hurry this up. My headset's about to die. Got to added a couple oxygen plants. Even got a food plant in here. I've got room in here for more food, but I wanted to add some redundancy, just in case that room does get deoxygenated and everything dies. I'll have, I've got some food stored in a box, but also I'll have another plant here. I plan on throwing one there when I get another seed. Um, we added all of this on. I went ahead and got my end caps there. Um, that will probably become an airlock later for me to leave. So I can go out directly that way, but uh, no, nah, I haven't messed with that yet. I mean, here we got this big room. Got a couple oxygen plants growing here just because, well, it kind of looks good. And 
It'll help fill up this room with oxygen a lot faster because it holds a lot. So if this gets fully deoxygenated, that's going to take a while to refill, so that helps. Got myself a hollow map here. This shows me my station, even though for some reason it shows the room clipping and warning the... drone attack incoming. Anyway. So much for this episode not having an abrupt ending. Anyway, I managed to get myself a bed, a med bay, and a rad shower that I wanted. I even had the room and resources to throw in a hollow map. Next episode, I plan to start exploring some more of those larger ships floating around my base, as well as throwing in a couple more turrets to help defend myself and my station. And as always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. This is a small channel, and the game itself isn't particularly well known, so anything that helps it gain traction is much appreciated. Have a good one.